I love using Notion for task management in both my full-time job and in my side projects, but there's a problem. Number one, Notion doesn't have a recurring task function. Number two, there's a lot of things that I need to do the same each week or each month. And number three, I'm lazy. All of the recurring task tutorials for Notion out there all have some sort of manual aspect to them. And like I said, I'm lazy. So I figured out a way to make recurring tasks automatically and you can do it completely for free using Integromat. And today, that's what we're gonna do. Hey everyone, my name is Joe and this is Automate Notion where we build awesome Notion tutorials and templates for solopreneurs, creators, and side hustlers looking for more clarity, freedom, and overall peace of mind in their life. If that's the sort of thing you're into, be sure to stay subscribed for more awesome Notion tutorials and templates like this. But without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. Awesome, so we have a little bit of setup to do first. First things first, we need a task database. So if you already have one set up in your Notion account, you can just use that one. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I've got a very basic task database set up here. This just has a name, due date, and done property. Once we have everything set up on the Notion side of things, let's hop over into Google Sheets. The link to this template will be in the description below, but we'll also be going through each one of these parts so you can get a good understanding of what's happening behind the scenes here. First things first, column A has our name of our task. Next in column B, we have our last due date. This is pretty self-explanatory, but it's just the last due date of whenever this task last ran. Next in column C, we have how many days we want the task to recur. So for instance, recurring task one will recur every seven days, every 14 days for number two, and every 28 days for number three. In column D is where we have our next due date. This is actually a formula that adds the previous two columns together. So in this case, B3 plus C3. So we get February 10th, add seven days to it, and we get February 17th. The next column is how many days before the due date do we want the task to be built? So in this case, we want the task to be built in Notion six days before it's actually due. But for instance, in task three, we just want it built the day that it is due. Next in column F, we have the task build date, which takes the previous two columns and subtracts them. So it takes the next due date, subtracts how many days before you want that built, and then it comes out with the task build date. Finally, in column G, we have a formula to check if today is equal to the task build date. You can just see here, it's if today equals F3, then return true. If not, return false. I'm recording this on February 11th, so we can see that this comes true. Like I said, the template to this is in the description below, but one quick note, I originally built this in Automate.io because I have a premium subscription with work, and Automate.io and Integromat have sort of different ways of dealing with date formatting properties. So there's just two pages in this sheet, one for Automate and one for Integromat, that just have those different date formats in them. But whichever one you're using, feel free to delete the other. Now that we've got everything set up, we can start building the automation in Integromat. I already connected Notion and Google Sheets to my Integromat account, so I won't be going over that here, but if you have any problems, let me know in the comments and I can make a separate tutorial on just how to set up those connections. So first we need to create a new scenario. So we have that set up here and we'll click on the big blue plus button in the center. First, we're gonna search for Sheets and click on Google Sheets. Scrolling down, we'll see search rows at the bottom here. And once that loads in, you'll just make sure again that you have your connection added. And then we're gonna choose the right spreadsheet. So in this case, it's Notion Recurring Task Template. And once that gets all loaded in, we just need to choose the sheet that it is. So I'm using the Integromat Recurring Task Sheet. This table does contain headers, which makes it a little easier down the line to make sure that you're adding the right properties. But the only other thing that we want to do here is set the filter where trigger today is equal to true. And we can press okay at the bottom. Next, we'll add another module, and this is going to be Notion. Once we get that loaded in, we'll want to create a database item. Again, I already set up my Notion integration here, but once this all gets loaded in, we'll want enter a database ID, select from list, and we'll click search down here. And our task database is called all tasks. So I'll just search that in and, pr and press enter or okay. And after loading for a little bit, it should populate with a database ID. And then as you can see, the fields show up for your task database. Now we just need to assign the properties from the Google Sheets table into Notion. So for name, we'll click on name of task, column A. We want done to be set to no and then the start time will be next due date, column D. Down here, we want include time to be no, and then 
if I can get this getting started out of the way, press OK at the bottom. So there's one more step that we need to add, and the reason why we use Integra Mat is because this is a multi-step automation versus something like Automate.io or Zapier, you're gonna be paying $29 or $19 a month, respectively. So we're going to add another module here, and we want to go back into Google Sheets, and we want to update a cell. Once that loads in, once again, we're going to go into Spreadsheet, choose our recurring tasks, and again, the correct page that we're using. Now, what cell do we want to change and what's the value of it? So what we want to do is we want to update this last due date as the next due date. So we want to pretty much copy over, in this case, we would want D3 to copy over to B3, and that'll show that the task is run. So hopping back over into Integromat, the cell that we want to update in this case is B3, but we'll keep the column name as B, and then we want the row number of the very first module. So we'll just select row number here. Then for value, we want D3 to be updated, which is our column D, which is next due date. We can press OK, and that's it. So now, if everything is set up right, we've got recurring task one, which has a trigger today of true, and that will hopefully build a recurring task in our task database, and then update the last due date to the next due date. So let's give this a run and see if it works. And look at that, it's all worked. So if we go into our recurring task template, we can see that the last due date has updated to 217, and the next due date has updated to 224. Then going into Notion, in a couple moments here, we can see that recurring task one has entered with a due date of 217. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you'd like to see or any questions you have on this. Also be sure to check out my last video linked on screen now on how to create charts from Notion databases. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.